Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and in this video I will show you how to install Valero inside the Kubernetes cluster. Now before we start, let's first understand what is Valero. Valero is an open source Kubernetes migration tool that allow you to easily move application and data between Kubernetes cluster. Valero provide plugin for Microsoft Azure which enable you to migrate a Kubernetes workload from on-premise environment to Azure Kubernetes service. The plugins support a wide range of features including backup and restore, rolling update and disaster recovery. Also, you can integrate Valero Backup in Azure DevOps tool to making, up, making it easily to automate the migration process. In short, whenever you have a requirement like you want to migrate a Kubernetes cluster from one subscription to another subscription or you want to migrate a Kubernetes cluster from one cloud provider to another cloud provider from exam for example Azure to AWS or Azure to GCP or you have a in on-premises Kubernetes cluster and you want to migrate into the uh, into the Azure then you can use this Valero backup. Also, you can use this Valero Backup for disaster recovery. Now, to install a Valero Backup, we are going to perform these six steps. First, we are going to create a resource group. After that, we are going to create a storage account where we are going to store our backup file. We are going to create a principal account and we are going to provide access uh, to that storage account. After that, we are going to set up certain variable before install the Valero and after that we are going to create a credential file and this credential file we are going to use while installing the Valero and after that we are going to do the do perform the demo where we are going to take a backup and restore inside the Kubernetes cluster here I am going to use a same AKS cluster AKS demo cluster where where I have a multiple application, I have a database application, I have a Redis DB, I have a result and vote application as well as I have a persistent volume. Okay, so let's start to install the Valero inside the Kubernetes cluster. So I'm going to use this reference website. It's an official website, official GitHub repository uh, for Valero plugin for Microsoft Azure. So let's start. The first step, we are going to set the subscription. So here I'm going to use a terminal. Here I'm going to use a PowerShell terminal. And let me first set variable. So variable set. Now the next step to create a resource group. So uh, here I'm going to create a Valero underscore backup resource group. And I'm going to create a resource group in East US location. Yes, so resource group is created successfully. Let's quickly verify it. Okay. Now here you can see Valero backup is created. Second, we are going to create the storage account. So here I am going to create a storage account, AKS Valero 28 April. So I have set the variable and now I am going to create a storage account. Yeah, now storage account created successfully. Let's quickly verify. Okay, so it will take a time. Meanwhile, let's create a container inside the storage account. So here I'm going to create a container, blob container Valero, where we are going to store our backup files. Yes, so now the blob container is also created. So now next step to create a principal account. So let's do it. So first let me set a role, Azure role contributor. And 
I'm going to create a client secret. Yes, it's done now. Now let's get the client ID. Okay, done. And after that, let's create, let's give the access storage blob data contributor access to that principal account. Okay, it's done now. Now here to install the Valero backup, as I said, we have to set up certain predefined variable. So let's do it. So before that, let's check our Azure client secret. So my Azure client secret is this. Let me first do it echo. Let me take it again. Yes. So copy it and paste here in Azure client secret. Azure client ID, let's take it. So Azure client ID. Okay, so here the variables are Azure backup subscription. Let's say if you want to uh, move a Kubernetes cluster from one subscription to another subscription at that time you have to set this backup subscription. Currently, my current subscription and backup subscription are same. Azure tenant ID that you will get from uh, portal. Client ID and secret ID just now I, I got from here. Then Azure resource group here you have to give the resource group of your Kubernetes cluster. So if you go here in and open the Kubernetes cluster and if you go into the property you will get the resource group so this is infrastructure resource group that you have to copy and you have to set here after that you have to set the azure cloud name is azure public cloud so let me copy this let me open the terminal and paste after that we need to create a credential file this credential file is required during the valero install command so here, let me first uh, remove a credential file and after that I am going to paste it. Now let's do it, get credential file and here you can see all the variables are here. Okay. After that, we need to, now we need to start the installation command. So here you can see Valero install provider is Azure plugins Valero, Valero plugin from Microsoft Azure 1.8. The current version is 1.9. You can also use that bucket where you want to store your backup files. So it's a blob container. Our blob container name is Valero. Okay. After that, uh, uh, secret file where we have to pass our credential file, backup location. Here I use AD2 and resource group is Azure backup resource group. And storage account is our storage account ID, subscription ID, snapshot uh, location, you have to configure the same uh, Azure backup resource group and Azure backup subscription ID. And here the most important is this feature enable CSI. Okay, I think this one is deprecated now. So feature enable CSI and use volume snapshot to true. So let's say in your Kubernetes cluster, if you are storing a persistent volume, and you want to take the backup of that persistent volume, then you have to enable this two flag. Now let's install the Valero inside the Kubernetes cluster. So let me copy this command and paste. So Valero install successfully inside the Kubernetes cluster. Let's verify. So go to uh, namespace, select the Valero and here you can see 
the Valero uh, pod is created and if you go to the custom resource here you can see the Valero is there Valero.io is there where you can see your backup storage location is Valero backup and this is our storage account name and our snapshot location is again a same subscription and inside the same resource group Valero backup now let's perform the backup so let's understand it so in the Valero there are multiple ways to take the backup first you can take a Valero backup simple command Valero backup create and then give the backup name second is Valero backup create give the backup name and you can include the name spaces also you can schedule the Valero backup like Valero create schedule daily schedule daily schedule weekly and schedule monthly and you can also pass the namespaces also you can schedule like this you on the particular time also you can include only the resources like per system volume claim per system volume also you can exclude the namespaces so depend on your requirement you can take the backup now here we are going to take a backup on default namespace because all our applications entire application inside the default namespace so here you can see we have postgredb redis db result and vote app so let's start the backup command so let me cl clear this screen and Valero backup create backup so let's give the name first backup and here I am going to include the namespace default so backup backup request submitted successfully let's verify And here you can see the backup is completed the total items to be backed is 132 now let's verify on the portal also so go to the kubernetes go to the resource group valero backup inside we have a storage account and we have a container inside the container we have valero container and here you can see the first backup folder is created and we have all the backups inside this format okay now okay now what i will do i will remove all the application from this default location default namespace and after that we are going to restore it so select all remove okay sorry let me go to the deployment and remove it same go to the state full set and remove go to the persistent volume where is the persistent volume yeah so persistent volume and i am going to remove it so i have removed everything in my kubernetes cluster now if i go with the all namespace now except this cube system so let me only select only default namespace now there is no applications there is no application no data is there now we have a backup here the first backup now i am going to restore it now the restore command is very simple you have to use valero restore create then you have to give the name of that restore file and then you have to give from backup from backup is a command where you have to just give the backup file name or you can restore the backup including the namespaces okay so let me select this copy this so here I am going to give the restore name is same first restore and uh, my backup name is first backup so from backup is first backup
and start. So now restore request submitted successfully. Now you can see here all the data is restored successfully including the stateful set including the persistent volume. Okay. So this is an easy way to backup and restore your data. Now here I am using only one Kubernetes cluster to restore the data. But let's say if you have a second Kubernetes cluster you have to again install the Valero install. Okay, you have to run the Valero install command. This command. You have to install this Valero install command because our backup location and everything is same. So you have to just install this Valero install command, and you have to restore uh, on that cluster. Okay. Now let's say if you want to schedule it, so just simply Valero backup create. Valero create schedule daily and include the namespace. So here I'm taking the default namespace. Okay. Now if you want to see how many backups are there, then you can go here into the custom resource and where you can see currently there is only one backup. First backup and we have restore only one time and the restore is first restore. Okay. Here you can also take the pod volume backup. Okay, you can also download the uh, data. This is a backup storage location. And if you go to the schedule, and here you can see we have just now scheduled the Valero backup every day. So you can go in the schedule menu, you can see the all the schedule. I hope you like this video. Thank you very much. See you in the next video.